Next example says that there is a person and he spends X rupees daily and saves Y rupees per week. Okay, spending X rupees daily and saving Y rupees in a week. spends X rupees daily and saves Y rupees per week what is his income after four weeks so there is a person a spending x rupees per day okay so if the person is spending x rupees per day it means how many rupees he has spent in four weeks because he is spending for four weeks we want to find the income in four weeks so let's see four weeks is equals to four into seven that is 28 days okay the four weeks is equals to 28 days now if you spend two rupees daily then how much money you will spend in 28 days two into 28 that is 56 but it is saying that uh, the person is spending X rupees a day. So obviously in 28 days, the person will spend 28 into X rupees. If we say that the person is spending 2 rupees, so what do you write? 2 into 28. But instead of 2, we are saying that it is spending X rupees. So, money spent in four weeks will be 28 days into x rupees per day that is 28 into x or we can write it like this 28 x where whenever there is nothing means no operation uh, symbol is given between an arithmetic number and uh, algebraic no, literal we can say then it will be a multiplication if we say 4x, it means there is always 4 into x. If we say 50y, then it is always 50 into y. So if there is no operation symbol between though, uh, between two numbers, one is literal and one is arithmetic number, then in between there is always a multiplication sign. Okay, now every week the person is saving y rupees so saving in four weeks if you save two rupees a week then how much you will save in four week two into four that is eight so how you get it by multiplication that is two into four so here instead of two the y is given so saving in four weeks that will be four into y or you can say four y So income, the income will be money spent and money savings because whatever you spend that is your income first you get it then you spend it okay so that will also be counted as income and the saving which is lying with you that is also your income let's say you are getting 100 rupees as an income 